As you know, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The month of October, we see a lot of pink everywhere we go. I just have a few pink beads, and Angel's got her pink sweater. <laughs> but it is something that I think it's great that that they're, all the emphasis is put on breast cancer during the month of October. It's been amazing. Uh, but the football coach was here earlier today, and he said their team, the Trojans, are wearing pink socks Friday night. But there's so much more than to just the pink color. And it's when you meet someone like Angela, who is a survivor and who was here last year with me. And I thought, I'm going to go back and look at that tape. But it's still, it's still out there because, you know, that stuff doesn't leave. But I wanted her to tell you a little bit about her story because, as you can tell, she's a young, beautiful woman. And hear what happened to her. Um, I'm Angela Murphy, and I am a breast cancer survivor. I've been um, a survivor for a year now. Um, I was diagnosed right before my 34th birthday with triple negative breast cancer. Um, well, I'm sorry, I found it the day before my. How um, did you? Did you find it? I did. I did. Uh huh. Um, I was just stretching in the bed, and I felt it underneath um, my left breast, and I decided to follow up. I didn't want to ignore it. And mm -hmm. um, January 4th. Uh, 2013, I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. Um, didn't know then if I would have to have a lumpectomy or a double mastectomy, but they did a gene testing, which um, they have genetic gene testing now to see if you have a gene. Um, it's called a BRCA, BRCA, and I was positive for the BRCA1, which is. Does that mean it'll kind of spread? It it's means it's in, it's in your family that it can be. Okay. Mm -hmm, that it is, you do have the gene to have it. Mm -hmm. Um, the BRCA1 is for ovarian and breast cancer. So my surgeon decided since I was positive that I did need a double mastectomy. Um, and in the future I would have had to have a double, oh, uh, I'm sorry, a hysterectomy, which I had in December. So when did you have your double mastectomy? Um, March 26th of last year. So all of this happened to you within a year? It did. Basically, it all did. those surgeries. Mm -hmm. And my chemo. And your chemo. Mm -hmm. How many weeks? Um, I did four rounds of chemo, and then I had my double mastectomy, and then I did nine rounds after that of Taxol, which is a preventative chemo. Have you had any problems? Do you have any problems now? I did have some neuropathy um, after my last round of chemo. Um, it's just tingling and numbness in your hand and feet. Mm. Um, I did that for a while. They put me on a drug called Neurotin, which helps with that, and I had allergic reactions to that. So, <laughs> <laughs> what else? Right. And so, I quit taking that. But they do show, studies have shown that B6 can help, the, the vitamin B6. Mm -hmm. So, I take it twice a day to try to help with that. And I don't have any anymore. I don't have any problems. Praise the Lord. You know, I would think most people looking don't even believe she's telling the truth. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to tell you something. When I saw her a year ago, she looked wonderful then, and I was like, I can't believe what all she's telling me because I've known Angie a long time, and I just had no idea that um, that it was of that magnitude. You know, I really did not. I'm very blessed. You sure. really are. I you am. really are. I am. What would you tell people? What do we need to get out there to people and to remind people about? Just to make sure that you do your monthly self checks. Make sure that you go to your annual um, visits to your gynecologist. And make sure you get your mammograms. When it's time, make sure you get them. Don't let it be something that you put off and say, oh, I need to work. I need to do something with the kids and put it off. Go and get it because it can save your life. True. It can save your life. I hope you'll take this month as an opportunity to go and remind yourself about checking. Or if you need to have a mammogram, they're available here at our hospital in McGee. They'll set you up. In fact, we even have a fund at the McGee Hospital that is available for people who cannot afford mammograms. So there's, there's a way that you can get a mammogram. I hope you'll check on it, and we'll keep praying for this girl. Thank you.